a question because obviously meat is very important everywhere in um, all the countries here but what if you're vegetarian because I'm vegetarian Gordon is vegetarian what would you say your top two vegetarian foods are in your country chilaquiles the chilarinos are fine chile rellenos are fine yeah because they they don't could be made with meat, meat but it could be made only with cheese yeah and actually okay. I love the ones just with cheese so you could have okay. cheese enchiladas it's easy it's not that hard to be a vegetarian here because mm -hmm. I recently had a friend from England visit and she was vegetarian and I was like oh you're done for but no it was actually really easy yeah quesadillas chilaquiles there's a lot of options and in Puerto Rico in Puerto Rico, if you're vegetarian, <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. Well, you eat a lot of rice and beans. You can eat a lot of plantain. Um, we have uh, verduras also. Like so, uh, when I was like researching a little about this, we say vegetales and verduras are like the root vegetables, like completely like apart. So there we, you have batata, yuca, ñame all those type of very similar but root vegetables so you can do like everything like a uh, boil or a soup or the side okay, okay so we can Lovely. have normal food absolutely in both countries yeah <laughs> okay, so cynthia what about top three for spain Come okay on. i know well, that's not easy oh, well the obvious ones you could have paella but there are lots of types of paella uh, you can have as well tortilla de patatas, which is different from the tortillas in Mexico because that's made of corn, but ours yeah. is made of egg and potato and onion. Mm -hmm. uh, like an omelette? I had that. Uh -huh. It's like a very yeah. thick omelette, right? And then you can put any ingredient you like. You can put meat if you like, you can put peppers if you like, you can put anything in it. Um, and also, hmm, what else do you think? What, what will be the third one? Uh, it's a difficult lentejas, one. cocido. Yeah, if I go for like uh, something that you eat with with a spoon in the winter, lentejas would be a popular one or cocido, lentejas, lentils, and cocido uh, garbanzos. Chickpeas. Chickpeas. Hmm. Very nice. And what about bacalao? You eat like a lot of bacalao, or is just like in some parts of Spain? Well, I actually had bacalao on the list as well, of <laughs> popular dishes, so yeah, we eat um, a lot of bacalao. Here it's a very popular Christmas dish. Yeah. It's only really eaten during Christmas, I think. Actually, I've never tried bacalao. I have. It's good. But the aceite de hígado de bacalao, it's... <laughs> Stop. No. Okay then, right, so I think we've, that's brought us to the end of this uh, particular video. And listen, guys, thank you very much for sharing your... Um, food passions with us. I, I must say, there seems to be a tremendous amount of passion coming from Mexico in terms of food. The <laughs> top three, that you had about 20 in your top three. That was almost cheating. Yeah. That's technicalities. Yeah, absolutely. If you don't have cheese, you can't go to Mexico to eat. No. Like, no. oh, oh, Diana's gone. Okay. So, oh. It's okay because she's still recording. Okay, so listen, thank you very much. Muchas gracias. We'll see you again. Obviously, everybody, um, we're going to post down here the links to the other sites as well so that you can go there. Go there, Speaking like Latino. the video, Speaking Latino, ZMG for you. And, uh, and obviously, like our video as well. That'd be great. Okay, see you later. Nos vemos. Y nos vamos. Adios. Adios.